Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the file activities under the system section. So first we will start off with the append line activity. The append line activity appends a specified string to the end of a file and creates a file if it does not exist. So here, on the desktop I had previously created a text file named test.txt. Let's go ahead and open it. Now you can see that there is a line saying RPA Genie Demo Project. Now using the append line activity, we will add a new line to this test.txt. So we will close this and open Genie. Now under the properties section in the input, uh, it's asking for a file path. So we will give the path of the test.txt file. So to do that, we will press shift and right click on test.txt and select copy as path option and paste it here. Make sure there are double backward slashes in the path. As for the string, this is the new line that we want to append to the file. So here, uh, I'll just go ahead with hi. This is a test message. Let's click on save and run the sequence. Now let's just quickly open the test file. Here you can see a new line has been appended to this file. Uh, hi, this is a test message. Alright, so we close it. Now next we'll see how the copy files activity works. So I'll drag and drop the copy files activity. The copy files activity copies a specified file as a new file to a folder. So here we have, on the desktop we have two folders. One is folder 1 and the other is folder 2. In folder 1, we have a file saying test word. So what we will do is we will copy this file and paste it to folder 2 uh, using the copy files activity in studio. So now this is uh, over here is asking for the source folder. So our source folder is folder 1. So we will press shift and right click and select copy as path and in the source folder field uh, we have to give the path of folder 1 so we we'll paste it here Now the contents of this folder is the word document testword.docx so we need to type in that. Now our target folder is folder 2 so here we will select copy as path and place here. Here we have some advanced options and quickly explain what they are. Uh, if we check this box, our overwrite uh, option, then it replaces the existing file in the target folder. Means if there is already a file saying test word docx, then it will replace that file. So that is for overwrite option. Then we have clean target folder. So here, if uh, since folder 2 is a target folder, it will clean or uh, remove all the files in this folder before it paste uh, the new file into that folder. Then we have the flatten folder option. Uh, so if that is checked, it copies all the files in the subdirectories to the root folder. Then delete file after copy. This, if we check this box, then uh, it will first, it will copy and paste this particular file into this folder. After that, it will delete it from the source folder. So it will delete this file from the folder one folder. Alright, so now we are not going ahead with any of these advanced options. If, uh, what we are just looking for is a simple copy and paste uh, activity. So, yeah, we, so we have provided the source folder, the content uh, and the target folder. So now let's just run the sequence. Now let's quickly open folder 2. As you can see, it has copied the test word.docx from folder 1 and paste it in folder 2 as well. 
all right so next we will see how the create directory uh, activity works so first i will delete this activity and drag and drop the create directory activity so here uh, the create directory activity creates a new directory in the specified location so now uh, in the in input uh, we need to provide a path so here i'll give uh, the path So I'll give the path of the desktop and remove this part. So we will create a new folder called test folder. And we'll give the path of the desktop. So here is the path, here up to here is the path of the desktop. And this is our new folder, test folder. So click on save. And then we'll run the sequence. Here we can see there is a new folder which is created, test folder. Right. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.